Folks, welcome again to probability part two. Yesterday, I just introduced probability and the core things, okay, is one, know the event, okay, there will be an event. How do you know it? Even the format of the question will ask you, find the probability that whatever is coming after the word that, that is the event. Then try to know the possible outcomes as guided by the question. Draw the tree diagram, okay? Then get the probability space. The probability of two opposite events add up to one. Basic. Let us look at this question is in KMF. The version I have it is number 21. So, B, part B, this is how it reads, okay? That during a certain motor rally, it is predicted that the weather will be either dry or wet. Okay, the weather will be dry or wet. Those are the possible outcome of a given event. Which event, what is it at the core of this outcome? Prediction of weather. Okay? So I know there is prediction of weather. That is the core. That is the beginning. That is the genesis. So, look at this. Prediction of weather is the core. What are the possible outcomes? It can be dry or wet. Then he gives you uh, when the probability that it is dry, it is 7 over 10. Okay? So, the direct opposite of dryness is wetness. So, this becomes 3 out of 10. Because the 2 add up to 1. Remember that. We continue. What does he want? He says, the probability that the driver to complete the rally under which condition? Dry weather. It is estimated to be 5 over 6. So when it is dry, the probability of completing is 5 over 6. Now look again. Under this dry condition, there are chances that the driver may complete or may not. So if I'm given the chances to complete is 5 over 6. The chances of failing to complete is 1 minus that. You get 1 over 6. Then we are told under wet weather, the driver may complete. And if he completes, it is 1 over 10. So not completing will be 9 out of 10. Okay? So look at this. You must understand the event. What comes are the possible outcome. Also, under here we can arrange people or items. Remember yesterday? Akini, Kamau, and Juma. So they could be arranged here, a king and a, the outcome. Then next, Kamau and possible outcome. Then next, Juma and possible outcome. So try to know after event, what are the possible chances? What are the possible outcome? Then we can also get the person behind that outcome. Then at the end, we have probability space, each line. And we said each line is a product. For example, now, let me pick a pen. Here, it would be a product of 7 over 10 times 5 over 6. Okay? 
just 7 over 10 times 5 over 6. What about here? 7 over 10 by 1 over 6. Here, 3 over 10 by 1 over 10. And here, 3 over 10 by 9 over 10. So remember yesterday we said each line is a product because it is a condition of and. It is D and C. D and C. That is the combination. So and we multiply or we add. Okay? So this is basically what you have. Maybe just one question. The probability that the driver will complete the rally. Probability that the driver will complete the rally. Can we focus down? Yes. Probability of the driver completing the rally. It can come from the first branch, okay, or the third branch where we have complete, complete. Now, this brings us where now? They bring us to first combination 7 over 10 times 5 over 6. Or, when it is or, we shall add. Meaning that they can, this cannot take place at the same time with this. No. It is either this or that. And then here we shall have branch 3. Branch 3 gives us 3 over 10 times 1 over 10. So you have basically here 35 over 60 plus 3 over 100. Please, you have to simplify. You have to add and simplify for you to score. So remember, you can now complete this question and yesterday's. Remember, event, possible outcome. Possible outcome arrangement can go with the people one at a time. But the most important, understand the event. We see you next time. Bye-bye.